Ah, you certainly didn't lie. This is a healthy looking specimen to be sure. Very well then, here is your payment. Hello there. Oh no, shh, shh, shh. quiet. I'm sure you're frightened, being locked up in chains like this for so long. Don't worry, I intend to take you away from this awful place. There, there. You see? Now just take it slow. There's no rush. You can lean on me if you aren't ready to walk on your own just yet. That's it. That's it. This way, dear. There's a carriage waiting for us. You're doing very well. Just watch your step getting in. There we are. Now go ahead and lie back. Do you need anything? I imagine you probably haven't eaten properly lately. I have some chilled wine here and some nice fresh fruit. Of course, dear, I'll pour. Just be careful not to spill. The road is a little bumpy at times. I hope the wine helps the soreness, at least a little bit. Now, we come to the introductions. My name is Adriana. What's yours? Mm, it's lovely to meet you. If you don't mind my impertinence for asking, how did you end up with a livestock trader? What? No, no, no. That gentleman wasn't a slave trader. You're not a slave, as such. You're, uh... Livestock. Oh, but you wouldn't know that yet, would you? Well, that's a bit awkward, isn't it? Ah, uh, I'll explain, of course. But first, how did you end up in your, uh, previous predicament? Oh, dear. What horrible luck. It always saddens me to hear stories like that. Well, don't you worry. Things will be looking up for you from now on. Hmm? Oh. Oh my, I'm afraid I may have given you the wrong idea. I wouldn't say that I necessarily saved you. At least... Not in the sense that I plan on letting you go. To be truthful, you were quite expensive. Though I'm certain you'll be well worth the price. Oh, shh, shh, shh. now none of that. Although I do understand how you must feel. To be honest, I abhor livestock traders. I really do. I can't imagine how twisted a person has to be in order to make a career of it. And yet, I quite literally couldn't live without them. Well, it's really quite simple, my dear. I am a vampire. Did you not notice my fangs? Well, I suppose it is nighttime and the coach is dark. But yes, I'm more or less what you imagine. Undead, drinking blood. The whole bit. 
But what you probably don't realize is there are quite a few vampires out there. Vampires who don't enjoy bringing harm to others. In fact, there are enough of us to build a whole city. Which is where we are right now. Rather than skulk about at night, draining innocence dry, we worked out a system. Having such long lives means one can amass quite a bit of wealth. And we use that to buy those who would otherwise go off to who knows where. People plucked from debtors' prisons or off the streets. Even those who might otherwise go to the executioner's block without our intervention. You're one of the lucky ones. You won't be forced into hard labor or anything of that nature. Consider this indentured servitude. Rather than live a life of pain and toil to pay for your, well, whatever brought you to the livestock trader, you'll be able to live comfortably with me in my mansion. All I ask in return is a small amount of blood every so often. Oh, hush now. It's not as bad as you think. I have quite a few rescued pets. I call them my dear ones. The point of all this is to spread my feeding across many different people. Each night I have three or four of my dear ones on duty for feeding. I take a safe amount of blood from each. After that, I won't feed on them until it's their turn again. That way they have time to recover and replenish their blood. You see, dear, I'm very careful about it. Methodical. All the vampires here are. We care about you and want to make sure you're safe. Why use captives like you? Well, it is true I would rather take in willing participants. But there's such stigma surrounding vampires. Hardly anyone ever volunteers for the position. Which is a shame, because it's quite a generous offer, I'd say. Apart from the feedings, the only thing you need do is take a few shifts helping with chores. Or just as decoration. I like to have some of my dear ones dress in cute outfits and lounge around the mansion for me to look at. Aside from that, I... Oh, dear... Are you crying, my dear? Are you afraid? Shh, shh, shh. No, no, it's all right. I know this is a lot to take in. Your old life is over, and that's difficult to accept. I felt scared, too, when I became a vampire. I was drained in my sleep, so I didn't even understand what happened to me at first. I just woke to a figure leaping out of my bedroom window. I was cold. So, so cold. And immediately I thirsted for blood. It was an awful experience. And by the time I figured out what had transpired, I knew I didn't want that to happen to anyone else. That's why I do this, you see. I know it may seem I stole your old life from you, but... You have my word, I would never hurt you. I am saving you from a much worse fate. Some livestock is simply sold and... slaughtered. Others brought into vampiric families by force? No. I promise you, 
As long as you live under my roof, I will care for you and keep you safe. In a way, I'm your employer or owner now, if you'd prefer to think of it that way. <laughs> Some actually do, you know? And I take that responsibility very seriously. You're still scared, aren't you? Oh, you poor thing. I wish there was something I could say to make you feel more at ease. Although, perhaps there is something I could do instead? If you would be willing to hear me out, perhaps we could engage in a small feeding right now. Oh, no, 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 shh, shh, shh. Please don't panic. This is just an option, dear. I'm only offering. You must give me some of your blood eventually. If not, I'm afraid I'll have to... Well, return you. You will return to the livestock trader. I can't vouch that the next... Ah... Uh, interested party to take you on will share my generous nature. I could set you loose, but you would be removed from my protection. And that would be... Well quite dangerous for you. I know this arrangement sounds frightening, but it's nowhere near as bad as I'm sure you're imagining. Keep in mind, I myself slept through being completely drained. Well, mostly drained. To be turned, you have only to lose enough blood to die. Ah, sorry, not helping. The point is, it's not actually painful. I hear it's a bit uncomfortable if you're unaccustomed to it. But it can also be very relaxing. Pleasurable, even. It could help to calm your nerves now. And you wouldn't have to spend days worrying about it once you realize how easy it is. I don't want to pressure you into a decision, but I really think it would be the best choice to just get it over with, as it were. Oh, you're willing. You'll do it. I'm so glad to hear that. Wait just one moment. We're almost there. Best not to do this while we're moving, of course. Driver, stop right here outside the gates, would you? Thank you, my darling. Very well. Are you ready? Come over here and sit next to me. Good. Take a nice, deep breath. Now, let me just get a look at your neck. Oh yes, I know it's dark. For you, at least. Don't worry. Vampires have terrific night vision. I can see you perfectly. Hmm, good. You have a nice spot just perfect to bite into. This will be easier for you than most. Go ahead and lean your head back a bit. And to the left. There. All right. Here I go. Mm. 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 
There we are. You see? That wasn't so dreadful after all, now was it? Oh, here. I keep some gauze in the carriage for moments like this. Press it to the bite. Don't worry. The bleeding will stop very soon. Driver. Take us to the main entrance, if you would. Hmm? Yes, that's all. Usually, feedings go on for much longer, but... I already have a group of my dear ones ready to take their turn tonight. As I said, I only wanted you to see how easy it is. What did you think? Hmm. Just all right. <laughs> oh, there's no need to hide your true feelings, dear. Not from me. There's no crime in taking pleasure where you can find it. Oh, you're blushing. You see, I knew it. Oh, you're so darling. I'm going to love dressing you up. We can discuss it later. But I'd love to show you off at my next party. The vampires in this city love to get together and show off their humans. Sometime. But only if you're alright with it. I might let them taste you as well. Don't worry. That's not something you need think about tonight. Tonight, and for the near future, you can simply relax. I'm afraid you'll have to share a bedroom, but my dear ones are all very kind. I'm sure you'll all get along famously. You're free to wander the mansion, the grounds. I especially recommend the gardens. They're just lovely. After that, We'll work you into the schedule. You'll really only have to take on chores a couple of times a week. Same with decoration duty. Your first real feeding session likely won't be for a few weeks at least. Come along now. Let's go inside. Yes. It's wonderful, isn't it? It's your home now. Just as much as it's mine. Now. I need to take care of some business. But Gloria... Gloria! Over here, darling. Gloria will show you to your new living quarters. You can get a proper bath and some soft new clothes... A good meal. Welcome home, my dear one. Oh, is that you, dear? Oh, are you... Oh, my dear one, you look absolutely darling in your new outfit. Yellow is definitely your color. Come here. Let me get a closer look at you. <laughs> yes, it's lovely. You really brighten up the room just by being in it. How does it feel on you? I hope it's comfortable. Oh, good. I imagine you haven't had many opportunities to wear silk before. I just can't get enough of it. And right now, I can't get enough of you, either. <laughs> now, 
I have to warn you that what you'll be doing today is a bit different than most days. Ordinarily, during decoration duty, you would just make some light conversation with me. You know, as I go about my business when I'm in the room. But even though you haven't been here long, I've singled you out for a special occasion. Oh, no need to be nervous, my dear one. It's written all over your face. No. Although this is important, you really needn't do much. You see, I'm having a very important meeting today. There's a noble from a foreign country coming to visit. All I need you to do is stay at my side during the discussion. Yes, that's all. You may speak if someone addresses you, but otherwise there's no need to do anything other than be your charming self. Still, I do apologize for involving you in my work so soon. I really do try to start out small most of the time, but I can be quite opportunistic, and I just can't help but think you'll suit my purposes flawlessly. You have a face that's both innocent and inviting, which is simply perfect for today. Oh, and I've also decided that we'll be doing our feeding before the meeting. Don't worry, I promise I won't get blood on your darling new outfit. Hmm? Oh, well, it's mostly just for extra effect. When dealing with nobles, it's very important to keep them from thinking they have power over you. That's why we're meeting in my home, in the first place. And it's why I want you to have visible bite marks. My bites heal quickly, so for best effect, feeding immediately before the meeting would be, uh, ideal. Oh, but I hope you don't get the impression we need to rush. This is your first real feeding, after all. I've allotted plenty of time so it can be special. With that in mind, come, sit a bit closer to me, won't you, dear? Mm, much better. You know, I think that being so close together for so long is half the reason I enjoy feeding. It feels like we're connecting on a deeper level. Now, show me your neck, dear. Do you remember where I bit you before? Hmm? <laughs> I doubt you'd easily forget. I don't think I told you last time just how wonderfully delicious you are, hmm? <laughs> The flavor is... Oh, how to describe it. Not exactly sweet, but... Delicate. Yes. Very delicate. And so warm. You run at a higher temperature than most makes that delicate flavor fill my mouth, despite its subtlety. I need more. Much more. <sighs> oh, it's so darling the way you gasp like that. Are you feeling a bit... overwhelmed? Don't worry, my dear one. You'll get more accustomed to it as time goes on. Bear with me for now. But, uh, you can keep gasping and fidgeting if you like. I rather enjoy it. So long as you keep your neck still for me. 
it. You're being so good for me. <laughs> I'll be sure to pamper you well for being so brave, my darling. I think I shouldn't, but, uh, oh, just a bit more. Warn me if you start feeling lightheaded, dear. Mm. 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 Oh, oh, that was absolutely splendid. Mm. I don't play favorites with my dear ones, but, well, <laughs> let's just say I'll be especially excited for feeding time when your turn comes around. <laughs> mm. Now, let me clean you up. You've probably noticed, but I have plenty of warm water, cloth, and bandages ready. No need to worry about sterilization. Vampire saliva takes care of that naturally. Now... Show me your neck again, dear, so I can get you nice and clean. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I'm really quite thrilled with you, my dear one. You have a nice, easy spot to sink my fangs into. Your blood tastes wonderful. And you clean up and heal so easily. It's almost like you were born for this. Now, let me just apply the bandage. But remember, we want to show off your bite marks with pride, so we must make sure to take it off before the meeting. Hmm. I'd say you're looking more relaxed than before. That's perfect. I'm glad you react that way to feedings. I'd like you to do your best to keep that relaxed demeanor when our guest arrives. I want it to be clear to him that you are content living with me. You are content here, I trust? Oh... <laughs> I'm glad. Aside from my work, making sure my dear ones are happy is my top priority in life. Or undeath, I suppose. Hmm? Oh, that's right. I suppose I haven't really explained what I do. Well, I don't think there's really a name for it. But essentially... I'm involved in politics. More specifically, I back people who want more power, both financially and through my contacts. In return, I charge a down payment, and I'm promised reimbursement after they achieve their goal. I know it's certainly an unusual occupation, but... As a vampire who's lived for centuries, I've been able to accumulate a tremendous amount of wealth and allies. This is the best way I've found to make proper use of them. Take the man we'll be meeting today as an example. He used to be a low-ranking noble in a monarchy very far from here. I am in the process of installing him as the new king. Honestly, this has been one of the easier jobs I've done. This nation has been suffering from terrible famine, so the common folk were already frustrated. I just sent in some people to rile them up further, and then give them the idea to storm the castle, to get at the royal food supplies. 
During this meeting, we'll be going over how I'll install him as the new monarch. What's the matter, dear? You seem concerned. Ah, uh, well, I'll admit that my business is morally gray at best. But when you get to be as old as I am, you realize that often these changes mean very little in the long run. Some of them are more cosmetic than anything else. I do, of course, avoid taking clients that I believe will be tyrants. Chances are anything my client chooses to do as king will be written over in the coming generations. Much as they would if the original king had remained in power. And at least the little people will be less likely to starve. Another question. My, my, you're very inquisitive this evening. What is it? Hmm, that is true. I didn't go into much detail about why exactly I want you to be here for the meeting. Basically, you're a reminder. Whenever my client looks at you, he'll be reminded of both my power and my kindness. You demonstrate my power by being in my possession. The simple fact that you and the other dear ones belong to me shows how wealthy I am. To be able to take care of all of you, that's no small feat. And by showing off your bite mark, I remind him of my ancient and powerful vampiric nature. But more than that, the fact that you are well-fed, well-dressed, and happy will ensure he understands that I believe in treating people well. If he plans to be a compassionate ruler, it will reassure him that we have the same ideals. If he plans to be cruel, he will know that he risks angering me. I can already tell that you'll fulfill this role for me perfectly. You're so cute and a little bit timid. Most of all, your gentle face is so calming. Honestly, I could go on and on about you, but let it suffice to say that you're just what I need for today. Oh, that's so sweet of you to say. But you don't need to repay me for anything. I don't consider you to be in my debt at all. Just being your darling sweet self has made you more than worth the cost of buying you. Now... Let me remove the bandage so we can see how your bite marks look. Ah, that's perfect. The bleeding has stopped, but you can tell the marks are fresh. Until they heal completely, there will be no doubt to anyone who sees you. That you belong to me. Now... My client should be arriving any moment, until he gets here. Let's enjoy each other's company a bit longer, shall we? <laughs>